Empow is an audio product manufacturer that offers a huge selection of headphones, headsets, earbuds, Bluetooth speakers, and all sorts of stuff like that. Today we're taking a look at their EG3 Pro Gaming headset to see if it has what it takes to compete in the gaming peripheral market in 2020. With an attractive and affordable price point, I think this thing has a chance to gain some serious mainstream popularity as long as it can deliver some half-decent audio performance. So let's check it out. The EG3 is advertised as a multi-platform headset with support for the PC, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and mobile devices as well. Today we're going to be testing it out on the PC to see how it handles gaming, listening to music, and just some regular everyday stuff as well. So let's talk about build quality. When you first pick up the headset, it's easy to notice the use of plastics in its construction, especially around the ear cups. And then the metal headband arch is, it actually has a nice premium feel to it. Actually, I think it's made of aluminum. And then underneath there's a suspended pad for comfort. And overall, they just have a nice solid feel to them, but at the same time, they're pretty lightweight. The microphone boom's super flexible, but it's permanently fixed to the headset. So you can't take it off even if you don't intend to use the mic. Not a huge deal because you can just bend it and flex it out of the way if you want to. And the cable feels like it has a little bit of play at its connection point to the ear cup. So it's probably something you're gonna to wanna to be careful with if you end up picking up this headset. You're not gonna to wanna to put too much strain on the cable or stress or anything like that, just to be safe. The inside of the ear cups are fitted with these gigantic soft cushions. They really help improve the comfort and also the fit. And it helps make up for the lack of adjustment and rotation with the ear cups. Wearing the EG3 is generally pretty comfortable. It's not the most comfortable headset I've ever worn, but it's also definitely not the worst. The only real downside for me is the fake leather material on the contact surfaces. I find that this stuff always gets hot and sweaty. And if you've watched any of my other headset reviews, you'll know that I complain about that on pretty much every headset that uses that kind of material. So it is what it is. And then the only other thing I noticed is that this metal arch headband can cause some unwanted sounds to reverberate through the ear cups and create this kind of annoying sound. Not a deal breaker by any means, but it can get annoying when it does happen. In terms of looks, I think this is a pretty good looking headset. It's got this industrial rugged kind of look going on and I actually like it. And even though it's a more budget and affordable option, they do give you some accent lighting. Now it's just one color and there's no changeable effects or control or anything like that, but still it's nice to have. It adds a little bit of a glow and helps the headset stand out a little bit. To get the lights up and running, all you really have to do is plug in this USB connector. This USB connector is only to power the lights actually. It does absolutely nothing else. So if you plug it in thinking that's how you get the audio up and running, won't work, it's only to power the lights. The audio connection's just a single 3.5 millimeter jack, but if you're connecting to a device like the PC that has separate uh, speaker and microphone jacks, you will need to use the included splitter adapter cable that comes in the box. There's an inline control box on the cord that'll allow you to quickly change the volume on the headset using a little scroll wheel, and there's also a switch to mute and unmute your microphone, and if you have the USB cable plugged in, the tip of the microphone will light up when it's active. Sounds delivered by two massive 50 millimeter drivers. To test them out, I played some games, listened to some music, and just did some other stuff on my computer, like video editing and a couple other tasks. And overall, I came away satisfied with the sound quality coming out of the headset. It's nothing crazy or groundbreaking, but overall, it's actually pretty good. I think a lot of people will be satisfied with it. It does have that overly exaggerated bassy kind of sound, but that's not uncommon with gaming headsets, and some people actually prefer it because it tends to enhance the sounds of gunfire and explosions and stuff that you would encounter when playing a lot of different games. So overall, nothing groundbreaking here, but decent audio performance for a headset in this price range. So this is what the microphone sounds like on the EG3 Pro Gaming headset. I think it's about in line with other headsets in its price range. I do hear a little bit of background noise getting picked up. It's almost like just a little bit of a hissing sound in the background, but it's pretty subtle and not too bad. Overall, it's gonna be perfectly fine for in-game communications. And it also comes with this little pop filter or windscreen, and you can add that to the mic if you want to, but just keep in mind that it'll block the little bit of LED lighting on the tip of the microphone. So is the EG3 Pro the best gaming headset out there? I mean, no, you can definitely get better audio and microphone quality, but when you consider its price point, which at the time of this recording is only like 35 US dollars, it's really hard to fault it too much. It's delivering good audio and microphone quality at a price point that a lot of gamers are going to find affordable. And that's really important because gaming peripherals can really add up in terms of cost pretty quickly. And let's be honest, if you're really serious about audio quality, then you should be looking at something at a much higher price point anyway. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.